So once again, guys, for those of you who just joined, this is a show match, best of five, King of the Hill format. Veggie has won the previous game, uh, the previous series against uh, the previous challenger, Penny. And now he's taking on Victor, but here he is playing as the Trolls in the pink. Uh, going for the Chieftain, and on the other side, playing as the Humans, we have got Vic. He's gonna go for the Wolfguard Commander, I wanna assume, yeah. And there is a Smasher nerf. Uh, with their costs, I think. I think they're going back to 12 resources, right? Yep. You can still afford the first one. Uh... But your starting resources will be hurting. We got a smash coming down. Uh, a slam, a throw junk, and the brute force have been picked up. And the wolf guard commander on the other side reaching level 2. Got deep waters, got uh, whirlwind, and fatal blow. Fatal blow for the interrupt on the slam and stuff. And I think we're gonna have to pause because our flag. Uh, no, I am not on Total War Warhammer 2. I'm on Warhammer 3 now, so. That's what's happening. The game's currently uh, being revealed. There's a trailer that you can watch and uh, a store page as well where you can pre order. Okay, let's carry on. Shows not OP anymore. Is this eye banner gonna be sniped? Hold up. Well, this royal flag is definitely gonna be sniped. Uh, not that the humans could hold it anyway, because the Medusa are here, which can be uh, pulled in after getting mad. So, yeah, that was not gonna stay up anyways. I banner at only 50%, and the Wolfcar commander going ham. I uh, got a teleport back from our troll bros, but this has been denied and some time has been gained. The royal flag gets slammed and destroyed at the same time. Uh, let's get rid of this UI. Oh my god, the wolf card commander getting so very low! Horse dies, human dies, troll lives. It's the way of things. Uh, this galleon post is getting dangerously high. In terms of the completion, and I think it might actually finish. Th this chieftain is gonna have to slam it or something to deal some siege damage because it's just not gonna be enough. Oh my god, the last moment, and the scaling post just finishes up. I'm gonna have some creep stealing from Vic here. Very, very cool. And we've also got an infantryman coming in to harass. Picking up a bunch of potions. Uh, Vic currently on 4. Veggie on 4. But Vic, I'm pretty sure, already used one uh, to get this sorted out. Anyways, Veggie is not completely without any uh, setup. He's got this going. But the Medusa could be scary later down the line. And the infantryman has made this cutthroat mad, so it's being followed right now. Uh, leading it right to the Wolfguard commander, but running away at the same time due to Miss Micro on the infantryman. That is unfortunate. Uh, the XP will belong now to uh, a little bit to both players, actually. Uh, nice, the Wolfguard actually finishes it off. Only two smashers currently, but for now that's enough. I mean, the Chieftain deals a lot more damage than the Wolfguard Commander does. So that's pretty good. And we're gonna see a teleport out for the humans. No, never mind. He's gonna walk it. He's gonna lag it. Where are we going? I'm waiting for the extra infantryman, actually. And Wolfguard Commander gonna try to take their own bases. So uh, probably a loop around the back right there. Maybe go for the Medusa as well. Who knows? Who knows what these uh, scouting post is done, but honestly the Chieftain and three Smashers should be able to kill it, especially because Vic at the moment will not be able to teleport back whatsoever, so that's a rip. 
Oh, the workers are getting killed. Now it takes two smasher hits, by the way, for that. They keep respawning for a really long time as well. But there's seven more. <laughs> so many repair workers, it's kind of insane. Slam going down. You know, Vic can upgrade this. This might actually have stayed alive, but... It's too late to start it now. Anyways, he's gained another scouting post on the other side. So at the very least, he managed to slow this down. Not gonna get any kills, of course, but just buying the time is very meaningful. Imagine if those trolls were uh, killing the Medusas, they have a level 4 chieftain. Don't want to be in that position. Alright, they're gonna try to go after the next base, but that is Frontier Outpost, so there's quite a bit more hit points to deal with here, as well as more pierce damage. I'm gonna smash some of these hunters real quick. Also, there's the fact that these infantrymen can come over to help defend. Stonecutter, yeah, that's gonna be an easy pickoff. Should definitely go for that. Um, good choice. It's being demolished. Which means that Vic will get some of these resources back, at least. He's got the back bases, though, so all is not lost. Even if he did lose uh, the building and some extra stuff. Ooh, gotta be careful with that Wyvern. The Smasher is really low. Putting it back into the fight now would be actually really nice, because he's got Empowered uh, on low health, which is a trait that uh, makes him stronger. We've also got some pretty decent pullback micro here, and the Smashers are mostly staying alive. As I say that, I curse that guy. I curse you! Oh my god, it teleports out. No way. Was that really worth it? And now it's just gonna lose the Smashers. Two of them are dead. Uh, three if you count to one by the Wyvern. And of course the Wyvern will slowly start to regenerate. The humans can now loop around and get there. And take the ring. With the Chieftain being out of range as well. He's not going to benefit from the experience. The HP is lower however. So uh, it wouldn't give the full experience to the Wolfgar's commander either. Having them to level 2 is however a very very nice advantage. I've also commanded trying to get another smasher snipe. Gonna need some good focus fire there. But, uh, yeah. Chooses to run away instead, but it's totally fine, to be honest. Vibrant healing, but it's slow. It's a slow process. It's like 10 HP per second or so. Oh, wait, can you guys hear the train going past the house? <laughs> I think you might, because the window is open. How annoying. No? Okay. I saw the microphone pick it up, but... Whatevs. Anyway, Medusa fight. Kind of both of them are taking the hits. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a fight about who gets the potions. But also the scouting post needs to survive and Vic knows that he's repairing it. He's upgrading it at the same time. When he upgrades it, he will gain some health on that thing, by the way. Ooh, the slam killing like three infantrymen there. That is savage. And also the Medusas are going down. Giving some experience to the Chieftain. He's picking up all of the drops. Uh, which are potions in this case. And the Wolfguard Commander has to get out of here. Because that's just too much damage. Uh, might get a kill on that Smasher. However, at the very least. 
There's still two more Medusas, but I think that will just give some experience to the Chieftain as well. Because he's still in range. Wolfguard Commander, however, goes level 4, which is nice. And still gets one of the potions, even though it's only a focus one. You have Edgy's, like, level 3.5. And, and he can almost certainly go for this Dragon now. Uh, almost 4,000. It, it healed like 1,000 HP. That's crazy. He must go in tier 2. Got double barracks, starting Arbalest production. Ooh, I'm not sure that's enough humans not to take this on, even though the wolf guard is pretty good, but not that good. Skill trees real quick. Uh, double holy farts. Healing up the units in the vicinity. Wolf guard commando gets the benefit too. This Frontier Outpost is probably just gonna get smashed, to be honest, guys. Even though we've seen great pressure play from Wick, it's not enough uh, to hold on to everything here. Should be another pickoff, maybe two. Yeah, he's got really good focus fire and more infantrymen are coming in and that was gonna scare the trolls away. Actually, Vic does hold on to the base and he's gonna get a fortified outpost upgrade. Fantastic work there. Oh my god, that is so good that he got all that. Uh, we should be seeing iron mines in the back very shortly and then we might see a few keepers or something like that. Uh, arbalists, like I said, are coming in. And there's no way the humans are going to enjoy any stone cutters up there. <laughs> it's just not happening. Uh, this will have to be a food and wood base. At least until much, much later in the game. You know, you can still turn that around. Guard Commander getting naked. Now you guys can't see it like that. Stream is for mature audiences. She got her clothes back on, however. Reported. <laughs> she was wearing clothes still. Come on. <laughs> more than some people on Twitch can say about themselves. Uh, this hunting hut is without the worker. What happened here? Did he accidentally unassign? He's got... Oh, it's running out, right. Yeah. Oh my god, the Wyvern is like half health. That's pretty good. Will it be able to do uh, another lightning strike though? I mean, the Wolfcard Commander is right here, applied some holy fart to the units, and Vibram goes down without causing a fuss. Vic is picking up Earth Shatter, and uh, what's the other point? Hymn of Tenacity level 2. Oh, we've got that as well now, so these guys are gonna be armored. Uh, Getting a little bit of resistance. Frontier outposts here are still alive, by the way, from earlier. There's so many throwers. I think Vic is going to have to think twice about going in there. But I think he's doing it anyway. Uh, that thrower is dead. And should get a nice shadow strike plus... Uh, okay. That is probably one of the best earth shadows against trolls I've seen lately. So Veggie's got to be not very happy about this. Only level 3 chieftain, so he can't do much damage. He can't creep even, because the Medusas are out there. Humans control that territory right now. He has base there, but I mean, how are you going to get through this? going to take a moment. Oh, Wolfcard Commander showing off now. Got all those fancy items. Oh, 
with the slam going down on the entire army. Suddenly they're just half health. And the Wolfguard Commander goes down, the Chieftain goes down. But the army without the Wolfguard Commander is made of paper and humans have to run away, I think. Uh, but actually the Trolls end up running away because there's so many low smashers. Both run away, that's fine too. Uh, bear in mind though the humans have a base in the middle and we have to pause the game because it's just way too laggy. Wolfguard making the Trolls extinct. Yeah, it's everyone against the Trolls, I swear. Poor trolls. I wonder if the players will take out the uh, the golems at some point. We'll have to see. Let's do a check also on everything. Cool. I think we've waited long enough. Uh, Vic only has drill halls. There's still no ec economic upgrades or a forge coming in. So no refinery. But he should be able to take out these uh, hunting huts. Around the space, so that will help a lot as the trolls obviously have a tough time upgrading their bases. They don't usually have a lot of resources in this phase of the game. Uh, Veggie is currently quite broken wood as he has to make tribe shelters. Of course, you can upgrade the tribe shelters with stone, uh, which is a little bit cheaper that way than also using wood, but yeah. That is still a 30. 30. Uh, Wood investment and then 20 stone on top of that, so it's a lot. Okay, Veggie is back with some XP. He's got level 6. Hasn't spent the points yet, would love to see that. And I'm pretty sure this base just dies. Joel's not gonna risk defending it for whatever reason. There's keepers there, of course, so I guess that's scary. 68 population versus 109. I don't know, man. I think that was defendable. Especially because it was a sharp eye of the tribe. Don't know how I feel about uh, letting that base die. Especially considering the fact that Veggie didn't do anything about this at the same time. He could have definitely smashed that base. What exactly is he waiting for? He's making a hex camp. He's gone tier 3. So he's going to try the more elite units of the trolls. See how that goes. Shrines to Mugwa are being made. Uh, there's a little bit of stone needed. As he's also making food patches at the same time. With the uh, food running out. He's only got two sectors. Victor controls the entire map. Can't be happy about this. Almost level 7 on that Wolfguard commander. And with an army like this. The golem is easy picking. There's a fire golem down here. Inferno golem it's called. And yeah. Brutal. Uh, it does, like, a little bit of a random damage, uh, strike and magical, all of it. He says, hmm. He's having a big think. X camp needs one more stone. Let's do it. 49 scrap and 8 offerings. It's gonna be expensive. <laughs> Gonna have to be flesh eaters. There's no way you can afford uh, bone hexers. They're, they're too much. On two bases, at least. I mean, fair's fair. Scrap getting collected. The one boy. He's getting it really fast, actually, just by himself. You don't need a lot of these. What is Veggie up to? See, uh, is he messing with us? He needs more trap shelters if he wants to do anything. But I guess everything is six pop, right? Including the smashers. So he can't make new units, but he can upgrade what he has. Catapult's coming in. Keeper magic damage is being upgraded. And we got a support garrison now. Another drill hall. Vic is playing really solid here. Ooh. What the bag is that?
Okay, we got a single bone axer out. <laughs> One bone axer. Oh no. The big boy is out. I don't know about this, man. Oh, dude. What are these getting upgraded to, by the way? I was going into the throwing camp for spike flingers. Okay. Yeah, Vic is just gonna take the golem. Not gonna risk taking a big fight in the enemy main. The keepers are doing strike damage at the moment, not magic. Although, oh my, ah, that's hot. It did not split. And that's hurting. Golem is dead, however. So we got a focus ring and a uh, focus regen ring. Time to go tier 3, that's right. Vic is doing it. You can be sure of that. Veggie. Ah, uh, with two bone hexers. Three bone hexers. One flesh eater only. I don't know. It'll take him a long ass time to uh, max out on that stuff. Certainly a lot more uh, time than he has. Oh no. Vic has gotten Beacon of Immortality. So his units are shielded now. And they're doing more damage. Uh, siege damage, I think it is. Yep. On the Arbalists. If he gets the other aura as well later, uh, in the middle here, Hymn of Retaliation, they'll be doing pure damage, which is even scarier. Uh, this is definitely not a fight that... Uh, Veggie wanted to have. That is one he ha he had to have. Otherwise he would have lost these two food patches. Maybe even the fight hut. If he retreats. He says the mages are dope. Granted, guys, Vic has a lot of population still. He's gonna take out the shot by the tribe fairly easily. I wonder if he's gonna get teleported onto. Oh, yes. There's quite a few mages here. Vic really should finish this base off. Oh, he's getting out. Even though he had catapults here, that would have taken just a second to kill. He's got Border Fortress now. Well, I guess he wants to max out. Still only four bone axers. It's mostly smashers, guys, so I don't know. I, I I wouldn't be too scared of this. Also, like Vic can just turn around again and fight. Uh, Vic has this base going as well. Aria distillery is coming in. Fortified outpost already. Maybe just a moment until that's a border outpost. So many billets for the humans. Do they even need that many? <laughs> I feel like he overmade them. At least one or two too many. Okay, he needs to get the Arbalest upgrades for sure. He's got so many of them. Uh, 19 Arbalest? Yeah, he's gotta get the up upgrades. It's crazy. Uh, Capote upgrades coming in, which is great. Actually, that's a lot that I like. Uh, market is coming up. It will need some Aria, but that's being worked on. Okay, a more open fight. And we're gonna see the Hymn of Immortality shortly. There was a huge slam in the back there. Uh, mages are trying to do damage to the Keepers on the front lines, but the uh, Chieftain is still only at level 5. Oh, he just reached level 5 now. If he quickly can pick a skill, then he can become near invulnerable. Let's see if he does. But no, ends up retreating, but he does. And uh, here's the choke point ready. Uh, to be abused. Oh, look at that live steal on the bone hexers. Awesome stuff. They do overall 150 damage. Sp spread a little bit. 
Uh, 115 of that is uh, is magic, and 35 is pure, uh, which is also a leech. Oh no! The cheap ten. He dies. Okay, the Humies are not too happy about this, to be honest. Uh, I would like to see a few towers, maybe. Uh, just to make sure he holds on to this area. Reinforced Human Towers, pretty good, guys. And he also has access to Bastion Towers, which are absolutely insane as well. Uh, keepers are currently doing 75 magic damage. Let's take a look at these resistances. So the Bone Hexers have 25 on everything. It's only really good against the Smashers. It's a pretty big upgrade there. Otherwise, not that helpful. Either way, this base is going to go down this time. Uh, fire there from the catapult shots. And humans teleport out. Oh, four catapults get stuck here. That is not great news. That is really unfortunate. Uh, Vic... Down to 100 population. Uh, he's got border fortresses almost everywhere except this one. I think in the back as well, yeah. He's got one more uh, creep to kill, actually, if he so chooses. But it will take a moment for him to remax. Let's see what he's making. He's got academies coming in, so some mentalists, I guess, would be a good idea. They're pretty mental. <laughs> and uh, the barracks are working, obviously. More arbalists coming in. Oh, what's happening? What is that stack of smashers? They were just inside each other. Oh, wow, that's dirty. Josiah says make champions. Good idea. Would be a nice improvement over the keepers. Okay, the game is getting really laggy. I'm going to pause this. Uh, rolling call is coal. <laughs> rolling call is asking about uh, an RTS game for consoles where there aren't many choices, right? Uh, Halo Wars 2 is the most active by far, and there's a two thousand dollar tournament coming up this weekend for it. So I highly recommend you get in that. Uh, link is in my Discord. It's there's a Halo Wars chat in there. Uh, you can see the link right there. <coughs> But old Halo Wars 1, that's dead. We can only play custom games anymore. Anyway, let's carry on. A veggie at 176 population. And he's finally picked up Thick Hide Rage. Uh, so he can help defend himself with that. Uh, so I, I would like to see Slam level 2. Why doesn't he have slam level 2? It's like insanely powerful. Even against keepers. Of course, commander gets wrecked. Uh, fighting under the border fortress though. That's gonna hurt. And the chieftain is getting very, very low. Uh, Popsy near invulnerability, but it's not enough. Not when the entire army is focusing him. And has to retreat. I think Vic can just do this all day. Like, how much longer can this, these units be upgraded? I guess forever, because uh, scrap can be generated forever. It's just slow. So scrap uh, workers need to be made to make up for that. <clears throat> it's going to be a short fight of the tribe in a moment. And there's some academies down here as well now. Were they always? 
down there? Why do I have a hiccup right in the middle of a cast? Come on, please. <clears throat> okay, I think we're fine. Be good. There's finally mentalists. Uh, so they're doing some magic damage and they can impair. There's also champions coming out. And that's a much, much tougher army for these bone hexers to fight, especially when there's no meat shield for them. Where are the smashers speaking of? Uh, veggie is minus 10 food, so there's not going to be a whole lot of that coming out anytime soon. Uh, level 7 on the hero versus level 9. Lost four smashers to a dumb Vyvern attempt through... Uh, what? He says this is GG. Because of the early, early losses. He's enjoying it. <laughs> nice. Cool. Big takes, game one, guys. Okay, guys. Orc mirror for game two. Got a goblin shaman. What the heck? Uh, I've never seen that be successful in an orc mirror, I, I have to say, so I'm very curious what Veggie is going to do with this, otherwise it's standard with uh, four lumber mills, two hunt cabins, and I'm sure he'll make the fifth one uh, later on when he actually has the workers for the other side. We have got Wick with the occultist playing as the orange orcs. Uh, both players should be getting their... Uh, the sectors first before the creeps just makes sense uh, do want to use that war grinder I think to bully the the creeps a little bit just two shot a uh, one shot even just is enough to make sure that the hero doesn't level up to tier two and thank you for the host from Ovadi or the raid see what shaman skills we have here hope you had a good stream man uh, we got Chain Lightning, we got Totem of Sparks, and Arcane Force, and no doubt we'll uh, see the Totem of Healing, and maybe Mana getting picked up. He said tanks. Oh wait, did Vic try to... Uh... Is there a corpse? Oh, he actually lost the work. He tried to do the trick, but it died, and uh, he got the XP anyway, because he killed the work. <laughs> healing Totem. And deep waters, like I said. Got death resilience and concentration. This is the build that I use personally as well. So, pretty happy to see that. Looks like the Warg will survive. What an absolute tanking beast. Sick. Vic on the other side smashing things up. Well, there's not a whole lot of things going on here as he's obviously uh, down in wood. So Vic is going to take a moment to upgrade everything. Uh, basically, when you when you start upgrading these other sectors, you got to make sure that you already had uh, two lumber mills nearby. And since there was a, a, a longer creeping duration here, 
and another hunting cabin was made with only one worker. Even Veggie is broke right now. Um, we probably could have upgraded this base instead and gotten a double hunt there. But he does have the the food to, you know, keep that up. And I think he just made a, a goblin. Yeah, scoundrel. There it is. Still only the occultist for Vic. He must be buying every base he's got. No, what he's doing is actually he's making all the buildings. So he's he's getting rid of the idle workers, which is um, I, I generally would not recommend that so early. Uh, you want to populate the bases with double worker buildings. This might be a little bit of a mistake. And he's already getting punished for it as Veggie is coming in with just a greater force of 12 Scoundrel, playing the tier 1, delaying the tier 2. Getting the Limber Mickle itself is huge. Uh, but at least the Occultist gets some hit points back from this and uh, looks like he'll be smashing up those Scoundrels, cutting them to pieces. So they may rest in pieces. Yeah, Cultus is gonna be fine with this for the most part. Uh, do remember that Vic did demolish that building, so he got most of the uh, resources back that the building originally costs. Ooh, he has to do it again, though. That sucks. Ouch. One thing he's got going for him is level 3 versus level 2. Veggie down in levels. Quite a bit actually. <laughs> Will be a while until he fixes that. Uh, we got stone cutters, boys. It's probably gonna be for a stone cutter as well. Already up to 14. And this is a fantastic base to have in the orc mirrors. But also a little bit scary because what if you lose it? Um, it's important to have, and I'm sure that Veggie, if he can keep it, will upgrade it to a fortified outpost as soon as he can. Got a Rizzo and Karak already for Wick, so he's gone for the faster tier 2. And he's upgrading this center sector. He could also get this bottom sector later down the line. There's a There's an iron mine here somewhere. Oh, it's actually really in a terrible location uh, back there. <laughs> oh. I don't think it's that complicated on this side. It's not mirrored at all. Like, if you spawn up here, you get punished uh, if you try to use that iron mine. Whereas if you're here, you can comfortably just put your iron mine here. Uh, short walking time then. But this is absolutely insane. Scouting post is getting really low. Uh, Vic is trying to save it by upgrading to a frontier post while repairing. But is he going to actually make it with the goblins continuously attacking and the shaman also helping out? 60% not going to be enough. Loses the base. Ouch. Chain lightning doing massive damage. Still not upgraded actually. Uh, Risen Karak on the way. Yeah, like I said, this is a much, much later tier, too. Looks like Vic will be getting this back. Needs to be careful not to walk out with the Occultist. Holy shit, so much damage is being taken by him. Oh my god, I think he dies. Oh, wow, that's a huge mistake. And Veggie is going to be sure to capitalize on this. Now he's suddenly ahead a little bit in the experience game. We'll take down this base very easily. By the way, what is that absolutely tiny health bar? You can't even see it. And yeah, next up he will easily be able to take either more sectors down or go for the bear. Oh, the frontier post upgrades actually, but even so, that's not even close to enough. Not with the healing totem being in play. 
only has the one occultist and now makes scoundrel as he should. But yeah, having lost his bases is huge. Thirty one scoundrels for veggie. Yeah, this is how you play this matchup, I think. You can also at if you're winning so hard, you can also just split them up and go after multiple places. There's a multi-prong harass. But maybe it's easier to just nuke down the single building. Oh, by the way, these guys get boons now. Armored and empowered. Oh, Gobble's getting pulled. They all bleed. That would hurt. But once again, the occultist just goes out of there. I don't know how other orc players feel about this, but I really like to just let them keep bleeding. Uh, instead, I would pop a potion when there's a possibility to. Because if they just bleed, eventually they'll be so so hurt that uh, the next blood application will just kill him. Uh, let's check out the scoundrel. Peter Enigma is asking if they have several appearances. Um, there's this guy with the flat helmet. There's this guy without the helmet. They have the same swords, but do they have the same shields? No, the shields are different as well. It's three, di uh, two different shields. I don't see a third helmet. Oh, there's a third helmet right there. Look at that. Probably third shield. The swords are different. So cool. I love how much uh, attention they gave the game like this. And, you know, these could have been leveling unlockables, and they're just giving it out for free. Not sure if that's positive or negative, to be fair. Oh, man. Well, the Cortis is back to full. Maybe you guess the healing totem, it doesn't make sense to let them bleed, to be honest. Yeah, it seems it gets out healed. Not the case though, if they run away. <laughs> oh, Vic actually whiffs that. Uh, none of these got hit. Uh, with the... Life steal. Okay, Vic has gotta have some cooldowns here. Like, yeah, he's got concentration one. Oh no, he's doing it again. Oh no, Vic. Not like this. Well, Veggie's starting to make hunters, so things are about to go from bad to worse. So much iron up here, it's insane. It's a fortified outpost, as predicted. There's also another iron mine location here. Uh, if this becomes a fortified outpost, he can put more stuff there as well. Uh, Gobble at level 4 at the moment, at level 5. He doesn't gain anything too important. Uh, summoning totem, I guess. It's valuable. But what really makes a, sh a shaman tick is the golem. So you get a uh, Bound Inferno Golem, which is way smaller than the Creep version, of course, but still very meaningful addition to your army. And this Tempest Golem is going wild back there, <laughs> smacking up things. He's yes, hitting two bases at the same time. Uh, Vic is going to struggle to defend this. Trying to upgrade uh, the... Heroes coming in. But I think it is gonna be too late. What the heck? He just made Vyverns. 
<laughs> okay. Well, there's a hunter here, so... And Vic is on four bases. This is never gonna work. Uh, Vibrants are extremely expensive, guys. They are 10 iron. Takes forever to get 10 iron. Even with orcs. Orcs obviously put a lot more effort into getting iron than the others, but... Now he doesn't have iron bases anymore, besides this, uh, where he started gathering iron as well. There's also this, but no iron mine. So it really looks like Veggie will be taking this game too. Um, I just don't see a universe in which he doesn't. He's got 47 goblins. Uh, he's got the healing totem. As long as he just takes out that bear, he gets enough experience to get undead as well. And maybe get healing totem level too. He's got totem might level too. What's the f level 3 of that actually? I keep forgetting. Uh, regenerating? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make the difference one orc at a time. An evil slaver empire wouldn't exist without the little guys. Two vibrants now, versus the evil slaver empire. Can't spell empire without I and me. <laughs> what? Where is there me in that? <laughs> <laughs> Sick pool, but he's only level three still. I gotta say, there is no way that this guy holds. Vic is trying. Playing his heart out, but yeah, hunters will focus this down, no problem. Yeah, we gotta we gotta resign probably a base kill actually. So let's just fast forward through this. Yeah, as I said, GG. <laughs> he blows up his base. Playing as the Dark Elves in the orange color, this is Vic, and he's looking to make a comeback going Guardian of Nor. Uh, despite the nerf, uh, you require level 3 for the teleports now, so you can't just jump over this and stuff, <laughs> which is absolutely insane, but oh well. On the other side, playing as the Elves going Ranger, this is Veggie. Always eat your veggies. Probably Vic, 2021. Going across with the Spectre. Spectre is not going to be able to tilt the Ranger very much because um, obviously it's easy enough to shoot back. So 
Uh, single target damages. We'll take care of that. And the wolf, together with the AoEs, uh, getting the zombies killed quickly. But so is the spider and the guardian of Noor. Uh, they got their work done fast. Yeah, tilt it. Can the spectre get out though? That's tilting. A guardian of Noor coming up. What the hell? Where is he going? I guess the scout uh, gives him the opportunity to decide what base to go to. And he's just gonna decide, okay, the elves can have this. Uh, we're gonna go up here, so dark elves are gonna bully. But the uh, elven scout also finds out this, so... Uh, he's gonna go into the main and bully the woodcutter workers a little bit. Very strange positioning on the top one, so there's gonna be a long distance uh, for the workers to walk to the woodcutter. It's gonna be dangerous if they get harassed later in the game. Which could totally happen. Fortunately, when you ring the bell, they actually uh, run really fast. Spectre pulling away these undead, buying a lot of time, and the ranger has to mess around here, killing them slowly. Oh, taking some extra hits actually on the on the wolf there. Certainly not what uh, was intended, but uh, Spectre goes poof, shatters into a million pieces. Floating ravens out of its body because that's how it works. Spidey dead. Green goo everywhere. Disgusting. Okay, Reaper can't. Uh, Reaper can't because Reaper doesn't exist. But the Guardian of Noor, he's got his teleport now at level three. And now he can do his teleportation madness. Oh my God! Does he have concentration? Yes! Where is Veggie? He went home! <laughs> He's got the mind game a little. Getting a lot of workers though on the other side, so he can't complain too much. That's three corpses working on number four. But here are the tarantulas putting an end to that. Seen a lot of teleports, and also Vic has picked up debilitating blow. Uh, just helping him with the creeping. Not sure what else it will help with. To be honest, it's mostly gonna be useless against the ranger because he's never gonna connect in the first place. Uh, but it will be good against the guardians to take him out quick. And he TP's back as he didn't have his stolen phone coming ready. It's probably a good choice uh, as he can just walk up here. You know what? He could have probably done the homecoming, but it's. It would be the same timing. Anyway, he can teleport over this now. Uh, Veggie is not there. Whoa! Stop. Oh, he needs vision. And he doesn't have it. Now he does. Sort of. <laughs> What's Vic up to? No barracks just yet, as he's obviously building a ton of hunting cabins. Might be a little bit of an overextension to upgrade absolutely everything right now, though. So gotta be careful with that. Uh, hasn't gotten any blocking momentum, so uh, the hit points for the Guardian of Noor definitely not gonna replenish uh, very fast. Uh, only out of combat. Veggie already working on the Medusas with the ranged version of the Guardian and with the Wolf tanking, of course, so that only will cost mana. As for skills, we've got two deep waters, we got the true shot, we got the bullseye, we got the hail of arrows, brute force, the wolf itself, of course. It's a good split of everything. Grove coming up. Second base finally done. Elves like to go tall. Uh, we've got a stone cutter here. Main base will obviously triple with one hunt. And tier two is being worked on. Uh, but I don't think this base will come up, to be honest. Uh, Veggie can't afford it anyways, and I'm pretty sure the Guardian of Noor can bully this away. He has enough of the potions. He's got two left. Maybe that's not enough. Ooh, he, he really wants that Guardian kill. It's level 4 versus Veggie's level 3. Uh, killing all these zombies sure paid off. 
Yeah, Guardian of Lord getting really low. I'm not sure he will stick around much longer. Veggie's micro was just too good. Oh, he's actually gonna try to stick around. I don't think he'll make it out. Oh, gets a sick block against the Ranger's damage. That pops the last potion and the album banner. No. At 50 hit points? Come on. Come on! <laughs> Veggie's gotta be really happy with that. <laughs> wow, that's sick. Oh man, he pulled off that just before he could kill it. He's gonna be kicking himself about this. Double Iron Mine coming down. And we got a new subscriber. It's Kunkli. Thank you very much. And welcome to being a Twitch e-gamer. Happy e-gaming. Skunkly just subscribed. Uh, there are no potions. Gunnim Nor has to watch out. I don't think he can take this. Uh, luckily for him, the Medusas are retargeting. Hopefully he picks up a potion from the one he's getting right now. It's a little random. One of them won't drop it, but he gets lucky. He can pop the potion whenever. Yeah, I'll probably just do it now. Still didn't pick up anything here. Uh, saving a level, or rather a point. Pops the potion. Where is Veggie? Oh, he's coming into uh, steel. That's nice. Uh, Vic is not gonna get level 5 off of this, but it's gonna be damn close. And he's gonna have, like, enough units to matter, but this is four focus potions, and that's not enough for the... Uh, for the, such a low unit count to take on what Veggie's got right now. That's six Guardians, and more of them are on the way. With the Shadow of Growth upgrading here and taking the Iron Mine, the Dark Elves don't have anything in terms of Iron Economy right now. Uh, Guardian of Nor getting focused by the Guardians. No Nor for those. Actually doing a really good job uh, bullying overall, I think. Uh, tier 2 is still really far away. For the Dark Ops, where is the stone? Oh my god, Vic only now starting that? He's got Tunnel Frontier posts, but... Yeah, two stone cutters now, at 8 minutes in the game. He's not even gonna be able to afford any extra uh, Halls of Pain. So he has to keep making spiders from the main continuously so that he spends his food and has something to fight with. Hopefully he can bully a little bit. Probably going after this iron mine right now is a pretty good idea as Veggie is kind of out of position and I'm sure he'd love to take out that, out of, uh, that scouting post more than he'd like to save his uh, 18 foot, uh, foot building. Getting the sector would be, in fact, pretty nice. Darkhoff's coming back, trying to defend it, and I think they can. Oh, that's gonna be nice for the Guardian of Nor. She was at level 5, but doesn't have the potions. Luckily for Vic, there is a merchant here. He can pick up the potions there, although I'm sure he'd love to pick the armor more so. And this is now a frontier post, so he should be able to leave it alone. 42 food, 44, just keeps going up. And if Vic can make a ton of iron mines coming up, um, then he will be able to make bugs. <coughs> Scusi. <coughs> we got the one protector. More of them coming up. Uh, no Wardens yet. Very interesting. Actually, I'd also like to see some Wanderers, to be honest. But probably uh, predicting that bugs are coming, Wardens would be better. It's just against all these bugs. Uh, despite these 
And also the infiltrator, so it would be just nice to have that magic damage. Not that the Wanderers start with that. I'm sure eventually he'll mix it up. Okay, there they are. A lot of them getting queued up. Uh, second Iron Man in this place as well coming. And Vic is almost at tier 2. I wonder if uh, Vic has, sorry, if Veggie has gotten the worker upgrades. Not yet. Uh, doesn't have the wood for it. And very strangely, nobody has gotten any fire orbs or anything like that. Uh, no iteming has been done whatsoever. Uh, Veggie, he's 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 green. It's good enough. <laughs> Vic also has no items, no potions though, which is way scarier than that. Oh, I wish there were hotkeys for that. Have to keep cycling. So annoying. Okay, once this is gonna be a, a fortified outpost. This is going to be pretty easy to defend. Oh god, the Guardian of Noir getting knocked down. No focus, no health potion, only focus potions. And he won't be able to teleport out of that. Not sure what he was thinking. He even doesn't have any healing skills or blocking uh, improvements. So, yeah, no soul catharsis, no blocking momentum. It's just terrible. Going for the border fortress but even so is that gonna be enough uh, reaches level 5 off of the corpse there are just so many guardians here I don't think okay decides to leave but once this is the border fortress this, this is definitely not going down not with the defenders also being here wait this is what makes veggie actually decide to go for it even harder <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Well, he's probably gonna get it, but he'll have to commit a lot of units. Uh, Vic is focus firing really well, taking out guardians and wardens and everything. It's pretty nice. But I don't think he can win the fight anymore now that he's lost the border fortress. Okay. Guardian of Noor is back. Uh, no items though. I don't see any items. Not even, not even potions. He's got the. Shield, soul shield, but he's just gonna die. Like, what is he gonna do? Oh man! Without the items, that hero is so bad. Just the two groves, really. Ah, uh, three now. Plus the sanctum itself can produce. Oh. Tier 3? He wants the upgrades for the Warden and stuff. Sure could afford that. Uh, I mean, Veggie is even getting extra bases. Arcane Smithy in the front line. So that's gonna be where the upgrades come from. Uh, potentially Ballista. I, I don't know what Vic will do now. Like, what did he do with his tier 2? He's gotten two Spires of Souls. That's so expensive. He doesn't have the stone now. Like, what? And then he's just making Halls of Pain for Sleepers. The Sleepers aren't even good against that. Uh, as much as I love them to be good. Like, Warden Stay. They have no strike resist and they, they have some magic damage to them. It's 
sleepers don't have magic resist. Only three sleepers at the moment. Of course, Vic had a lot of bases all this time. Like, he's had a massive map control lead. But the urban economy is kind of keeping up. And honestly, the only thing he could have spent money on in the meantime was infiltrators. Which he hasn't done. These barracks are largely idle. If there were a ton of infiltrators, I, I think maybe it could be done. But hard to say. Oh, he gets the souls denied. Oh man, that is really unfortunate. The forge only now starting and 25 stone missing from it. What? What else is he doing? Where is the stone going? Seriously. Uh, Dark Temple being made. Ah, some of the halls of pain aren't done. That's why they're idle. Man, that's really unfortunate. Vic slipping up here. Veggie's got an incredibly powerful army with the Arcane Smithy done. He's getting the Protector. Savage Blows upgrade and he can get, once he has some Aria, the uh, Enchanted Spears for the Wardens. He can add uh, Wanderers as well to the army and upgrade them. Hell, he can make Druids and get the whole thing to heal. Uh, doesn't have the buildings for that yet. The Heart of the Forests are missing for the moment. Watchtower here. <laughs> This is a super scary army though, it's only 140 population by the way. 25 guardians and 8 protectors. Even that would be scary, but he's also got 14 wardens behind all that. And Vic has this, spiders, okay. <laughs> it's 9 sleepers which are nice, but not the best against this composition. Look at this, guardians have 20 strike resists. And then there's the protectors with 45. What are the sleepers gonna do? Even with their upgrade. Yeah, Veggie's starting his upgrades in the Arcane Smithy. Part of the forest coming in. Where's the Aria again? Uh, over here, yeah. So he needs Lanyard Harvesters and he needs the processing uh, plan for it, the purifier. Go away, panels. Anyway, Veggie be like, purify this. Massive freaking army. Yeah, I don't think we need to. <laughs> Need to show too much of the health bars here. It's gonna be very, very obvious. The sleepers are gonna try their best, but they're targeting down the protectors, and they're more than happy to take those hits. While the wardens are bullying away the hero and stuff, the guardians will be taking out the border fortress very, very easily, and he just teleports out after losing like five units. Yikes! So the entire border fortress dead. Okay, he lost seven units. Vic on 90 population versus Veggie at 144. So just where he was beforehand. But Vic has lost the Border Fortress, so rip. Food is out. Um, elves have to go into farming. They're not that good at farming, actually. So that is like the one thing. But there's still sectors with some hunt, so there is that. Never mind, it won't last long. He has to go farming now. Hence the uh, negative monies. And this. <laughs> That's expensive, actually. A border fortress under attack. Darkov trying to come in to. What? Why did it show it up here? Up there. That was strange. Oh, Vic is trying, Vic is trying, but... That Guardian of Nor getting dangerously low, even with these super high resistances, and the Soul Catharsis, and the Border Fortress, and the Bugs, and the Sleepers. Even all that together is not enough. Although this time around, at least, 
Veggie will pay dearly. Oh my god. Hero kill was savage. Hey, he's getting some actually pretty good snipes on the wardens. It's impressive. Yeah, they do have 25 magic resist, so even the bugs are not a fantastic choice against those. And do they have to upgrade? I don't see it. No. Not yet. Oh, I think they do now. No, never mind. No upgrade. Just sniping. Oh, the infiltrator is getting absolutely shracked. Big down to 55 population. He's got a lot of Halls of Pain, which is nice. Uh, but suddenly he does not anymore have the food economy that he so desperately needs. Uh, some of the outposts are still only fortified. That's a border, that's a border. So he's got all these uh, farms now. Might be enough to keep him going. There's, this is a border fortress, and he's swapping to farms here as well. So yeah, he's got a pretty good economy setup actually, and so long as he can build an army, um, he should be in a good position. Also, the Solka Farce is healing up these bugs is a very, very nice addition. Has he got the upgrades for the bugs? Yes, and the Sleeper, so there's a lot of AoE in here, but not a whole lot of army. Veggie, on the other hand, with the uh, triple Ballista. No food though! Oh, did Veggie under eco? Hold up. What has he got in the queue? Not much, I have to say. Whole lot in the heart of the forest. Winter mages. They're nice units and uh, souls are being used here. Sion's doing damage. It's a great economic comeback from Vic. Uh, using his souls, which is a free resource as long as you pick up the... Uh, echo from the corpses and then he can make these beautiful little scions if he upgrades them for a little bit of extra souls They'll even do a knockback effect And by the way, they also apply bleeding so if you have any unit that combos with that such as the strider in tier 3 They'll deal some nice sweet extra damage oh, There's a lot more souls here Here, but he doesn't want it. Oh, it's a, sh a shrine of thorns. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, 50 pure damage, so these guys should be able to survive 10 shots. Takes a long time to take out that iron mine. Wait, it's not doing damage. What? It's a lot of souls going to Wick. Why is it not doing damage? Oh, he didn't use one of the abilities. Or does he have three spires now? Oh, he does. It's crazy. Alright, what's Veggie up to? He's got the four Winter Majors out and 19 Protectors. He's fixed the food eco problems if he had any ever. Okay, they don't have knockback on the Scions. It's gonna be just the pure damage. Oh, by the way, they deal magical damage. Just gonna put that out there, and we're seeing some massive uh, AoE from the Plague Beetles, and there's just not enough units that shoot up, so uh, Veggie will have to turn around, otherwise the Beetles will finish this. Border Fortress getting repaired, which is nice. Uh, the Sleepers are trying to get in there. Uh, puts down uh, Soul Catharsis on the bunch. Not enough beetles after all. Not enough frontline to protect the beetles themselves. And Vic's army once again gets absolutely creamed. Now I don't think he can make it back anymore to be completely honest. Uh, especially with the free ballista nuking this down. Uh, gets a whole bunch of souls from this fight. Fortunately we couldn't see the echo on the ground. 
but I'm sure it was plentiful. Base dies, Winter Mage is doing work. Obviously doing 100 magic damage and an AoE. It's gonna be crazy. Damage to creatures? Yes! <laughs> Why? Why you have to do this? Okay. Good, good spot, Matt Hat. Just like the warden, man. Anyway, I think that's the least of our problems, especially for Vic. He'd actually be happy to retake that base one day, as his buildings are still chilling. <laughs> hey, Ranger, finally, gonna buy some items. It's high time. Yeah, nothing on there. Nothing. I think he only ever bought potions. And even now, he's gonna get an ability cooldown ring instead of a weapon. Very, very strange. But he's maxed out. Seventeen protectors, twenty wardens, and ten winter mages. Yeah, this is gonna be brutal. Uh, by the way, wardens have been upgraded as well. And no doubt the winter mages, uh, they don't have their ability though. <laughs> That's what we need. We need that ability. Yeah. It's pretty sick damage on the wardens now. These protectors are so tanky as well. It's insane. For Vic to max out, we would have to wait quite a while longer. Right, so Horse of Pains are actually idle. He's tier 3, but he can't make striders. He's making emissaries for whatever reason. Uh, they're not going to last long against the wardens. I mean, don't get me wrong, the magic damage is nice. Protectors don't have a lot of resists against that, but... Yeah. Finally, here come the Striders. Ah, uh, Guardian was gonna fall. That's a rip. Skellies are being brought up, but... They also die immediately to the Winter Mage AoE. Oh, do we have a hashtag no equip on Veggie? Nah, he's got it. Vic has to fly back with his... Prophet boys. I swear it's the creepiest unit in the game. Love it though. So unique. Because it's gonna give us a good show, but he's gonna lose his whole army. But yeah, GG, well played. It's gonna be called, and Veggie is gonna be taking game three. The series is not over, however. It was a great game. Welcome everyone to Scorching Canyons. This is where we be. Got playing as the trolls. This is Vic fighting for his life in this uh, King of the Hill series. <laughs> He's got the chieftain now. 
Uh, and in the middle, we've got the AI playing as the orcs using stats from the base game and stuff. <laughs> the other side playing as the humans. This is Veggie leading this series, uh, winning pretty comfortably. Didn't work out for him with the trolls, but you know, maybe the reverse matchup uh, might surprise him. Who knows? This is a very, very limiting map in terms of expanding. Chieftain has big stick. But he can't stick this guy too fast. It's just gonna smash the royal flag. No way it's gonna work. Yeah, there's no way that works, buddy. <laughs> it's gonna finish. Oh man, Vic is gonna be so mad. He's wasted half his hit points. Has to pop a potion. He says, get out of here. <laughs> No, it didn't work. Well, yeah, the wolf card is going to be pretty comfortable from here on out. Has a potion advantage. Can take other sectors. Although, this hunting cabin is not safe. Especially if a slam goes down on it. That's a lot of siege damage. Uh, for builders, we got... Oh, by the way, there's a smasher coming now. Finally. Uh, should have been at the very start, but strange stuff happened. Anyway, we got double hunting hunt. We got triple tree chopper. And the stonebreaker got teleport home from the chieftain as well. A uh, smasher might just go after this hunting cabin or something. It's going to be pretty damaged. Of course, the wolf card commander could just teleport down to fight it. Wait, is it going to full hit points? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just didn't take as much damage as I thought. Definitely never seen the damage building get to full before like that. But I think I just overestimated what happened. Anyways... Got a bunch of creeps here in the main. Got some more bandits up here. And infantryman will be helping. There's a Vyvern up here. No in between really except these guys. But these are AI units. They aren't creeps. They're, they, they won't give as much gold. They won't give as much experience. It's like killing a, a unit of your enemy. So it's not a dedicated creep camp really. A slam and junk combo coming in. Leaves the archer alive at one hit point, which is extremely annoying. Ooh. Level 2. Neither of them is going to get level 3 off of this. Um, so at some point, they're going to have to come over and kill these. It's relatively doable, but yeah. Especially with holy farts, it's fairly easy. Yeah, I, I didn't say that if you piss off the AI by attacking their base, they will actually send stuff to attack you. Well. How close are we to level 3? Even for Veggie, not very close. I mean, he's cleared both creep camps. Guard Commander healing pretty slowly. Oh, you already seen this, so... At least I don't think these Ravagers will heal up very quick. But he sure manages to pull them, and he wants to make it so that he's only fighting two or something. Uh, actually ends up being free. Oh, 
Man, these are tough. And the uh, Wolfcraft Commander is taking a lot of damage. Already had to pu pull a potion out of her butt. And she dead. That's it. Yikes. Even if all four were dead, she would not be level 3, by the way. So this plays super differently uh, because of that. Is he gonna go after the Vyvern with just this? He's already got Junk Stack, to be fair. So there's gonna be some more longevity on this Chieftain, to be fair. Nice dodge. Me like. He smash. Veggie has the hero back. <laughs> but not his dignity. Yeah, Vyvern should go down without further problems. But does freeze the hero, which is annoying. Because he'll take a lot of extra damage that he otherwise wouldn't need to take. Oh, so Dio's damage is lower because of this. Peggy still needs like two or three more units to be killed. And Vic is about to get it done. See what he gets. Ring of Nullification, uh, five resistances each. It's pretty nice. It's better than the one you can buy in the shop, which is only three uh, resistances each. So, Oi! He's going for the troll guard stuff. And he's also getting a stomp. Which makes everybody do a stomp. Slam stomp together. Should be okay. I mean, he's gonna be stuck on level 4 for a long, long time. Unless he kills a ton of workers and maybe some infantrymen. Let's see what he gets done. Uh, sure would have liked to see some guys troll the, uh, <laughs> join the troll guard. When did this happen? Dude, these aren't protecting the base. What? Well, okay. Hey, wait, there's a fight here. Didn't expect him to just randomly start that fight, to be honest. There's nothing really there. Although, I guess Veggie wanted the uh, Drake. Not gonna have it. There's a lot more Arbalists where, uh, that were waiting in the back. And he's here too. Also oh, mining iron already. Two more barracks coming in. And this is our frontier outpost. Let's take down the woodcutter, which is a really nice one actually to demolish right now. Should be able to go after the hunting cabin as well, to be honest, and then teleport out. That would be a fantastic takedown already. Yeah, it's easy. No, he's running. Oh, just TP out. Yeah, playing it safe. Veggie staying on tier on level two. Vic on level four. Thanks to that Vyvern kill. On his way to level five. Troll guard smasher helping out. With the tanking a bit. I have to try upgrading. And that's going to help to defend this a lot. For sure. Smasher getting a little low. AI does not micro. Uh, luckily for Vic. Uh, lost the flag up here though. And Veggie is going to take that over very happily. There's 800 Aria here. You don't want the humans to have this I think. Um, eventually can take it back. I mean hopefully not too much will come of that. So that we can get a fifth game. Scrapper's idol uh, must have been just made. Scrap is here. It highlights when you select the scrapper. It otherwise doesn't have any indication anywhere. Um, scrap here, here, here. So you can definitely pick those up at some point. Losing some workers, nothing big. Uh, veggie gaining experience off of that. Unfortunate that he left that one alive at 20 hit points.
Well, let's see what kind of buildings Vic has. He's making double fight hut. There's no upgrade buildings, so it's gonna be just pure smasher. <laughs> Veggie already has drill holes, and uh, here come more infantrymen from them. Forge coming up. Should be seeing infantryman upgrades. Uh, 45 outposts coming in. He's got 12 iron. Hopefully we'll... Wait, there's already a forge. It's just not popular with workers. And yeah, Veggie did not end up upgrading this. Building a little bit of food right now. Man, that hero super needs uh, a level up. Bye, Crush. Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome, everyone. Flag is back, but... Wait, there's two troll guards... Vic didn't pick up any of the promotion skills, right? He's got March. Because he can't actually promote until level 5. Oh, he could have... Uh, he could have done the throwing promotion, to be fair. But I don't think he wants that. He's not saving any points. It's going to take a lot of kills to really get anywhere. Thanks for the follow as well. What else does Veggie have? Got a level from workers? Nice. <laughs> See what he's picking. Uh, holy fart level 2. That will help a lot with healing. He's got the basic whirlwind, fatal blow, shadow strike, and brute force combo as well. Of course, deep waters for the mana. Yeah, he really likes these interrupts against against the chieftain. This map is so messed up. <laughs> I love it. I'm I'm just wondering when the AI orcs will be like, yeah, let's go and kill one of the players off. <laughs> Freaking war trolls and wyverns. Okay. Guess our bless RNGs in the chat and hope for some divine intervention. Keepers look so cool. And they are enough in number, I think, that this is scary right now. Smashers don't have any strike resistance, so they'll be dealing their maximum damage. Oh my god, the chieftain gets caught in the middle of the army. So huge problem, teleports out, uses the wall as a surface area there, uh, as a surface area reduction there, so that's nice. Smart move. Wait, what? They removed that too? Uh. Bonk him. Hey, Tracer, I got the Bonk Better Twitch TV emote, so you can use that now. It's capital, all caps, Bonk. I have the tribe suffering with that catapult firing. And it's gonna be really difficult for Vic to get to connect with that, especially with the... Uh, Chieftain just not really having the invulnerability thing get sniped so easily. Um, yeah, Slam was only level 1 as well. So even though it hurt the infantry a lot, it's not enough. And there's two catapults now. Vic is on the way out, I think, unfortunately. Uh, we're probably not going to get a game 5, but I don't want to call it just yet. There's still a sliver of hope. However, these skull crushers are falling one by one and the smashers are being focus fired as well. Veggie even retreats to get an even better deal out of this fight. Make sure that the weak infantry units don't just die uh, needlessly. And yeah. 
extra kind of full shots will finish that base down whenever he decides to turn around but yeah a bit indecisive there holy farts helping out for sure Oh, one more salvo from the catapults, and then that's that. Base gone. Keepers, however, are really low. Actually, the trolls took a really favorable trait here. Uh, the smashers, however, used their sprint, couldn't connect with anything. They could only really run five paces, and then they're tired. Like, poor guys. No stamina. Hey, what is this? He's a level 5! What did he pick up? Uh, the, the hitting trainer. But he didn't pick up Thick Hide Rage? What? How is he gonna survive? No. Oh my god. How is he gonna survive against Army Focus Fire? Vic has done a really great job getting units back in. And, you know, taking an efficient fight, whereas Reggie, I thought he's running away, but actually he ended up sacrificing his entire army. Now he's significantly behind in population, and we might be seeing a troll comeback. Especially if these upgrade to have more workers. Uh, Heart of the Tribe is upgrading, actually, so we're gonna go up to tier 2. Not sure what the benefit will be. Hex units? He could be going for the magical units and, you know, upgrade the... Smashers to uh, to the corpse eaters. Could be getting some Mac Hexy Hex faces as well for their AoE. Bone Hexers, that's it. There are 10 stacks in the junk. Oh. Someone got promoted, I'm not sure who. I think, I think he just got a Skull Crusher out of this. There's like no effect, so I, I, I honestly find it really hard to see. He got level 5 because he killed... He didn't get 5. Oh, he's asking about uh, about Vic. Well, Vic was 4.5 already after the Wyvern, so... Wyvern, good. Gets you through these early levels very easy if you kill him at the low level. Oh my god! The Arbalists are so low, and actually so is the Wolfguard's commander. It's gotta be really careful. You lose the catapult, lose this infantryman on the way out. Holy yikes. Well, gotta say fantastic recovery here. What? 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 Somebody resigned no way this is a really good army for Vic I, I actually can see it happening here I've gotta keep in mind the throwers are extremely strong they're just basically balloons but not flying the hero dies gets level 6 on the chieftain which also means that he can finally pick up invulnerability if he chooses to do that but I'm not sure he spent it on something else. Veggie is going to resign and we have ourselves a game five. Veggie does not know what happened, unfortunately. Well, he was on an equal sector count to trolls and that's a no-go. Humans, I do feel, have to control more map than the trolls uh, in order to win. Or go really late game. Uh, their late game efficiency also works in their favor once they get the mentalists. 
and the champions and all that good stuff. Also, oh, he never actually had level 5, so that matters. Well, well, well. Game 5, ladies and gentlemen. This is an actual King of the Hill battle. Veggie has won the series against uh, Penny earlier. Now he's fighting Vic. And next up, the challenger is gonna be uh, Rising Sun, who's waiting in the chat patiently. We're gonna cast that too. Uh, to everyone st sticking around after the butt crush raid, thank you very much. Hope you're having fun. Uh, Spell for free is free to play. You can try it right meow anytime you want. Uh, link will be in the chat, so you can check it out whenever. Uh, you get one race for free, which you can choose. It's either the humans, the elves, or the orcs. You've just seen the humans. Uh, the orcs were on earlier. I don't know what races are gonna be. Veggie has told me his pick, and we need it from Vic. There are six races in the game, so it's only one of them that they won't play this time, because the rules of the series are no repeats. And we got Elves from Vic versus Dwarves from Veggie. Never seen Vic play elves before, to be honest, but I'm sure he can manage. Seems a pretty versatile player to me. Let's get it on. So, guys, if you're having fun, make sure to hit the follow button. There's also a Discord server that I've got, there's also a YouTube channel that I've got, there's Twitter, there's Facebook. You can go wherever you prefer uh, if you want to hang out. Yes, there's a pretty good competitive community. Uh, people are making guides, giving advice. Uh, there's tournaments, show matches, all the time. Eventually this game will pick up, I'm sure. Just a matter of time. Also, there's active dev support. They're working on so many things right now. It's just a matter of time, like I said. Anyways. Let's introduce our players after a brief pause here so that the replay doesn't buffer in the middle of the match. Waiting, waiting, just to be safe, because uh, as you can see, we've got a bit of a ping thing with Vic going on. Alright, let's do this. Playing as the dwarves in the pink. This is once again Veggie. Gonna go for the Hierophant, pretty standard of course. On the other side, playing as the Elves. Fighting for his honor, wants to be king. This is Vic. Gets a Ranger. And let's see if the Scouts do anything. So the Mole Rider technically would lose to the to the Pathfinder if they end up having a, a, a fight. Uh, there's just more DPS from the Pathfinder. But the Mole Rider has a slow. So if he hits the Pathfinder, he can slow him down. Wonder where this Hierophant will go. Oh, we got an uh, aggressive build from Vic. He's gonna go past these Skellies. Steal these creeps if he can. Uh, unfortunate news for the Elves. They could aggro these into the base, but there's nothing here. The dwarves, they don't need this. They they only really care about the stone. Oh my god, there are four stone cut stone cutters. What am I just witnessing? Uh usually you go to hunting cabins, but Veggie says nope. Avon banner here in the middle. And there's a skelly here uh, <laughs> also bullying that's gotta hurt! The, the wolf is actually getting seriously low, and the base is not upgrading either, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you want to actually fight this thing? It's so strong! 95 damage. 
Well, it's like 30 DPS to be fair. Not the end of the world, but it's damage is damage, you know? Ranger gets out and he's, he's trying to get the upgrade here. Uh, now the dwarves, they don't have this same problem with the creep pulling. Uh, you just go in with your scout, you pull this in to the wood line. Anyway, the ranger is gonna get uh, potentially level 3 off of this. Uh, once she also goes here. What's happened? Did everything get pulled in? Yeah, I think she'll definitely get level 3 then. No, never mind. That's a lot of gold from all this. Damn, Veggie uh, actually didn't get a second sector yet. Takes a long time for dwarves to do it. There is so much spending going into the early economy, it's kind of crazy sometimes. The Vic manager to get this base. It's gonna be a hunting cabin there. Uh, quite far in the back actually. Might be a little bit worrying in terms of getting the creeps pulled in. Ooh, the guardian going after this is pretty hot actually. Meanwhile, the hierophant is trying to creep in the back. Going for the level 5 path. Uh, but yeah, uh, there was a little bit of weirdness about that. Stone pole is gonna be cancelled. Whoa, it's showing all the resources, what? <laughs> Ooh, gets a knockdown on that axe wielder. Not a kill. An axe wielder can still, still run away easily enough. Morider will probably go down at some point. Ooh, the Guardian is getting so low. One more hit from War Rider and it's dead. Oh, two hit points? What? Yeah, War Rider finishes it off, though. Definitely think the Ranger wants that kill. Got the Stone Pull back yet once more. Two more Guardians coming in. Yeah, I don't think the ranger can keep doing this. She's gotta leave. This is gonna upgrade very, very shortly. Uh, she's getting a little low, but Vic does pop a potion. And the stone pole is gonna upgrade. It's pretty unfortunate. It's gonna take a lot of extra damage on his way out. And he's back. Well, he's got four sectors now. It's pretty crazy for dwarves, actually. Uh, usually you go heavier on the units. axe are being made. Only one at the moment to tank for the Hierophant. But we'll go, go level four off of this. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not quite. Maybe we'll need an extra creep from the next area. Oh, this one is not coming up, that's for sure. That's gonna belong to Vic. Controlling the center for all this iron is actually really essential for the elves. Uh, once they get their tier 2 stuff rolling, they're gonna be really powerful. Uh, but there's no stone at the moment, so it's gonna take a while for the elves to actually reach tier 2. And there's a growth coming in. More hunting. That's Probably going to be even more hunting in the middle at some point. For now it's enough. Still level 3 on Veggie's Hierophant. He left the uh, final creeps alone. Oh, dude. That is so unpleasant to look at. Oh, no. 
This is not gonna give level 5. Which means that this crossbow build is still not gonna have barrage. Which is why it's so sensible actually to get for go for the double brute force. Um, it just does so much damage when you put all of that together. Axe Wheeler dies on the way out too. I think Veggie's getting a little tired maybe. He's certainly in danger now. a lot of potions from this, obviously. <laughs> and I mean, Vic is gonna take a bit longer here, but he'll also get level 4. Not too far behind, to be honest. And then there's a back creep still to kill. Bandits and stuff. Veggie on level 4 and a half. Yeah, if he had these bandits, he'd be level 5. But now he has to fight the Vyvern, which is tougher. Uh, Stone Horse coming up. There's gonna be four total. Oh, he's already had this one for a while. And there's another one here. Oh! That's three already that he's got. So he's building the fourth one. Nice one. Uh, he's also upgrading to tier two. He's got 24 stone. So he can definitely make the inventor or and the workshop later. Get this stuff upgraded. Get some sentries with the stance. Uh, where you deploy them, they do so much more damage, they gain so much more range. You can even teleport them while they're in the range. Uh, range deploy mode, and you know, you can snipe stuff with that as you arrive. Matt Hat loves to mention that when he casts. Uh, we still have to see it in a competitive cast. I'm not sure if I've ever seen it, to be honest, but. I think I've played against it. It's a good defense by Vic. Uh, at least killing two units. Only a basic outpost anyway, so... Not the end of the world. He's got a good enough army, he's got enough map. And he's got this upgrading. Uh, he should definitely teleport on this, because there's a lot of low units here. And that is... A great sniping opportunity. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Actually, was getting really low there. Trading one kill each. The Ranger gets another shot off. Uh, further Axelers will die. I'd actually like to see the Guardians in ranged mode. I'm uh, just taking the, the fight, to be honest. You know what's also good? These guys have negative magic resist, so it's particularly good to go for the Fire Orbs here. Granite Hall in the front line. Whoa. Gonna be a fortified outpost. Yeah, Stonecutter is probably tilts as well. Uh, actually, good defense there. Spot it, uh, the splitting is nice. Uh, no, no, the there's the attack is slower. So this is seventy with zero point sixty seven attacks per second. This is only 0 0.5 attacks per second, so this is considerably less DPS. I definitely don't want to do the map in my head, though. <laughs> Not while streaming. Oh, thing's cursed. And yeah, the resist is equal. Uh, both, both sides could be picking up fire orbs for that purpose, yes. Nice, all the exfilers stay alive. That's gonna be almost a level 6 for Veggie. Oh my god! <laughs> he needs 4 XP! Yeah, he kills one unit, he gets level 6. Uh, finally, he has Barrage. What else did he pick up? Hold on. Uh. Concentration 2, I guess.
Well, we haven't checked on Vic for a while. Uh, he's walking home. Definitely for the creeping. And, you know, if he kills some stuff in the back, he'll, he'll level up. He's upgrading the iron mine. Oh, my God. Doesn't want to lose all that stone here. And we are seeing a teleport back. Don't defend it, but... Well, there's gonna be a barrage! Oh! The cancel is... Well, the interrupt is too late on that knockback. Obviously stops skills from happening. But that's just too much dwarves! And... Vix elves get pushed back here. Uh, with the Shrine of Growth level 3. Getting wrecked. Golems being added in, so any of these uh, frontline infantry units are not going to be happy about that. Deals a lot of splash damage to them. Right to their face. Iron Mine has been upgraded here as well. Uh, I don't think this one finished, yeah. Hunting cabins are being recycled now. Protectors being made finally, but... Gotta keep in mind Vic doesn't have a lot of iron. Now that he's got this upgrade iron mine, uh, it, it's slowly coming in, but... Yeah, he'll need a lot of farms soon. Yeah, punch it. The workshop coming in, Veggie does. 113 population, double granite hall, uh, already producing double fire golem, of course. We've seen the first two already. A third of its name has spawned. Can't see it though. Oh, it's already in the army. Ooh, this is scary. Oh my god. Vic is on 12 population versus 139. I don't know, dwarves are good, but... Oh, sorry, elves are good, but... This might be a bit of a tall order. Ranger goes down. Vic calls GG. Veggie calls few. He can take a chill pill now, because he's on for a third round. <laughs> His winnings are currently at 20 bucks. He lo he's looking to go up to 30, no doubt. Don't tell, jeez. <laughs> GG. Don't tell cheese. Well, well, well. Everyone that voted Vic has just lost their monies. Sorry. Sorry, Twitch chat. That's what you get.